Neither the Metro Council nor the police union were consulted about the settlement with Brianna Taylor's family. And the presidents of both worry it may have been premature. There are things that we will ne may never know. Metro Council President David James says he found out Louisville Metro had settled with the family of Brianna Taylor just hours before it was announced. Metro Council had no clue, no knowledge, no anything about it. The settlement includes police reform, such as the creation of a program to incentivize officers to live in low-income neighborhoods and the hiring of social workers to assist officers. It will also resurrect a program that tracks complaints against officers. Unless these reforms require additional funding from the city, James says the legislative branch does not have to approve them. Many of those things are things that the council has been asking for for some time anyways. Other reforms, however, will require a sign-off from the police union as part of its contract with the city. Ryan Nichols, president of the River City FOP Lodge 614, says he's willing to negotiate on issues like increasing random drug testing of officers and expanding the list of records kept in an officer's personnel file. As a collective bargaining process, anything within our contract is open for negotiation. But Nichols says he doesn't believe any of the reforms included in the settlement would have changed what happened the night Brianna Taylor was shot and killed. Not even new rules requiring a commanding officer to sign off on all search warrants. The commanding officers up to and including the chief staff were well aware of those warrants being executed, what the purpose and intent and focus of that investigation was. They knew. Nichols believes the city acted prematurely by settling the lawsuit before the criminal investigation is complete. And he criticized Mayor Greg Fisher for allowing organizations like Until Freedom to call for the officers to be charged during Tuesday's press conference. For the mayor to have that platform and that speak included in his press conference is a direct slap in the face to the men and women of LMPD. James says he's concerned that since the settlement ends the civil lawsuit, the city has avoided answering tough questions regarding the death of Breonna Taylor. It prevents the community from learning all the things that they would have learned about what did or did not happen through the depositions and trial testimony. Denny Camper, WLKY News. Nichols is hopeful the mayor's announcement will encourage the city to speed up negotiations. The police union's contract expired in 2018.